Welcome back to my Let's Play Pokemon Diamond Mono Ice Type Run. I am Circle Cat Zack, and in this episode, we are going to be taking on the Orberg City Gym. Last time we explored Orberg City and the uh, Orberg City Coal Mine. Uh, so let's go ahead in and talk to the guy right here. Howdy, how's it going, champ to be? That's what I said to a really impatient boy earlier. The gym leader is a user of Rock Type Pokemon. Well, listen, Rock Type Pokemon really hate water, Rawl, right? They're also weak to grass moves. Gee, they sure have weaknesses, but don't think it will be easy. You don't get to be a gym leader without covering for weaknesses. Going after a rock type with a fire type Pokemon won't be easy either. That's all the advice I can give. Thanks for listening. Now, we could just dodge that one trainer right there. Actually, both of them, because there's another one up there, but I want the experience, so let's go ahead and take him on. You avoided the long way around? Let's see why you do that. Because I want the experience, fool. Youngster Jonathan. John Nathone, if that's what it looks like to me. Uh, let's go for the Icy Wind on this Geodude, see what that does. That will take it out. Good job, Circle Cat. And that was his only Pokemon, so great. Um, I want to talk this episode about some of the other things that have been going on in my life as we take this guy out. Today I went to my first uh, Battle Roads tournament, which if you don't know is part of the Pokemon trading card game. Today began the first, uh, yeah, today was the first Battle Roads for the autumn season. It was actually my first Battle Roads ever, and Circle Cat's going to grow to level 15 right there, which is great. Um, as we take out this Onyx with an Icy Wind, hopefully, it was my first one, I went 3-3. Three and three. Uh, there were 34 people in my age division, which is Masters, and I ended up, I think, in 18th place. And I got some really cool trades done, so if you're into the Pokemon trading card game and want to check out my channel, it's SHZTCG, just a little shout out to that. But I think we're ready to take on Rourke. Welcome, this is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer, and I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Now since this is a gym battle, I'm not going to be speeding up. This is Rourke. He is a rock type user, obviously, and is going to have three Pokemon. He will start off with a Geodude, right here. It is level 12, and I'm just going to be taking it on with one Pokemon, Circle Cat. Let's go straight for that Icy Wind and see what that does. Uh, I'm not sure that it matters, because this is a rock type gym, but the Quick Claw just kicked in right there, and hopefully this Icy Wind will take him out. Let's see. Yes, it will. And that'll get us some pretty good experience. And there goes Geodude. Uh, good job, Circle Cat. Let's see, what did I get? 187, that's not too bad. Next up is Onyx. Onyx is also a pretty formidable flow, also at level 12. And we're also going to get the Quick Claw boost right here. Uh, going for the Icy Wind. That's pretty funny, twice in a row. But uh, back to the Battle Roads, it was pretty fun the way they had it set up was there were six rounds and it was held at a library in Plano, which if you don't know, I'm in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Uh, the one I went to was in Plano and there were about, oh, maybe 50 people there total, 50 or 60, uh, and there were three different age ranges, Junior, Master, and Senior, Senior being the middle one, I'm in the Masters, and then the Junior is the youngest one. Uh, this is Kranidos, by the way, level 14, his strongest Pokemon, and he is actually going to outspeed, so the Quick Call would have been really helpful right there. But uh, the way they work is uh, you do six battles. Uh, there's no top cut this time around. Top cut meaning, uh, I believe, that you do be pretty much best two out of three. Uh, it's just one game, they call that Swiss. Uh, it's a Swiss tournament, meaning that you just play one game and then the winner uh, is the winner of that round. So I ended up going 3-3, three and three, which is not bad for my first one. There are two more tournaments that I will be attending. One tomorrow, Sunday, and one uh, Monday. Uh, the one tomorrow will be in um, Bedford, which is about 40 minutes from where I live. And then the other one is in Irving, which is a lot closer. So, as he is going to heal up here, I'm also going to heal up. And I probably should have got some um, super potions, to be honest. But, oh well. Let's see if we can do it. And yes, he's going to use a potion. 
Let's go. Not for another or not for another potion. Let's go for that icy wind. Uh, maybe we can get a crit and take it out, although I doubt it. I just am hoping I can live a headbutt. That did not take it out. It did reduce its speed, so we are already faster, I believe. Headbutt is going to do quite a significant amount, but I will be faster. Uh, and I got the quick claw to prove that. Nice, and I will go for the icy wind to take this. Kranidos out, and that is going to secure us the victory over our first gym leader, Rourke. Very nice gym battle. Good job, Circle Cat. Going up to level 16 with your bad self. Do -do -do -do. Now remember, after any other gym battle, I would be getting a new Pokemon. Just about, but not this one. This one uh, I'm only doing with one Pokemon, and after the second gym battle, I will be getting my second Pokemon. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. But that's tough. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you've beaten me, the leader. Here's your official Pokemon Cole badge. And I had to be quiet there just to show off that awesome music. Having that Cole badge means your Pokemon can now use the hidden move Rock Smash outside of battle. You should also take this too. And here we get TM76. That is going to be Stealth Rock, a move that I don't think I'll be using very much, but is pretty awesome in competitive play. So that's going to do it for that gym. Say goodbye pretty much to Orberg City. I don't really see us doing much more here. Uh, I'm going to heal up, so I will be back when I am healed, and then we will continue on. Alrighty, we are back now, and I also went to the Pokemon Mart, and... As I keep calling it, it's the Pokemon I know. But, um, I got some Super Potions, I got some Repels, I got a couple, uh, healing items like Awakenings and Burn Heals, and I think I got an Escape Rope, too. So, let's, uh, first off, go to our bag. And I'm sort of afraid to have to do this, but I may have to teach Rock Smash to, um... Circle Cat, I can't learn it, so if I do need it, I will have to catch sort of a HM Slave Pokemon. Um, I'm not gonna really going to be using it, though. And look who we have here. Thud. Whoop, Zack, you got the gym badge, huh? It turned the city to the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right? So yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't go there without a bicycle. I made my team battle and toughened them up, so it wasn't a waste. So, I'm going back to Jubilife. Next stop, the Eterna Gym Badge. Ten seconds before I dash. Nine. Bah, who's got time to count? So that was fun. Let's go back into here. And I believe I'm going to cut right here once again. Catch myself a Geodude and teach it Rock Smash so that we can get through places that have, uh, that need you to use Rock Smash just so I can make it through the rest of the game. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, I've made it back out of that uh, cave right there, and I've caught myself a Geodude and taught it Rock Smash. Let's check it out. I named it Snail, because I remember that episode of... Um, what am I doing here? There we go. I remember that episode of Spongebob where Patrick gets a, uh, a rock and calls it a snail, so I just called it Snail because I remember that episode. But um, let's go through here now. We've already battled all these guys, so I don't need to worry about uh, talking to them or trying to move in front of them or anything. Uh, let's continue on through this route back into Jubilife City. So here we are. We don't really need to buy anything. But if we go this way, look at who we have. Oh, Zack, impeccable timing as always. These miscreants are babbling utter nonsense that I just can't stomach. Show them some manners, if you will. Oh, Professor Pokemon, must you be so difficult? We are approaching you strictly as businessmen. All you must do is provide us with all your research findings. In return, we'll refrain from causing massive damage to your assistant. Zack, let's battle together and teach these horrible men a lesson. So, we have a plasma battle. Galactic, plasma, galactic, galactic. That's what it is, I'm thinking of Gen 5. Uh, we have a double battle, actually, with Dawn. And we will be taking on a Zubat and a Wurmple, both great matchups for our Circle Cat here. Let's go ahead and speed this on up. She's going to have her Chimchar. I'm going to let her attack the Wurmple, hopefully. 
and Icy Wind is actually going to attack both of them, so that doesn't even matter. That takes out the Zubat, and that takes out the Wurmple, so suck it, Dawn! Your Chimchar blows. Take that, uh, Galactic people. We're going to get some great money there. You leave us no option. We will retreat for now. Because Team Galactic is benevolent to all, we shall leave. Yeah, right. That lot, they call themselves Team Galactic. When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some type of energy. However, I believe that it's a mystic power far beyond our control. But Team Galactic seems to be trying to use that power for something. Anyway, Zack, well done! You battle quite capably. The sight of you trainers and Pokemon battling together, I made the right decision in entrusting you with a Pokedex. Zack, did you know? The professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too. According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. I guess that means some Pokemon must undergo startling evolutions. So, Zack, let's keep working on our Pokedex project for the professor. Anyway, that was all pretty much useless. And look who this guy is. Oh, that was very good. Nicely done. Truly excellent. Oh, be I beg your pardon. I'm from Jubilife TV. I'd like you to have something for letting me see that smashing battle. And we get a completely useless flash in case. No one there, flash in case. A fashion case. Uh, contained within that fashion case, you'll find a whole spectrum of chic things. And I don't really care about any of that because I'm not going to be doing uh, anything to do with fashion. So let's continue on here into Route 204 that we couldn't really do anything with otherwise. Uh, let's see if we can do anything with this cave now. Because I know that it had a bunch of rocks that you could rock smash. And let's, I bet you anything, that one of those is going to let us get to Eterna. Or at least Eterna Forest. Can't go that way yet. We can, uh, actually, uh, we can't go through the surfing spot, but I do believe there to be an item over there that we can get. I really should put on one of my repels, but I don't really feel like it because this cave is so small and I'm having trouble running. There we go. Let's, uh, rock smash this thing. Go, snail, go! Alright, push through here, don't need to rock smash any of those, and we get a TM39 Rock Tomb. Very cool. Uh, rock move early on. Uh, if if what's-his-face Circle Cat can't learn it, then I'm not going to teach it to anybody. I obviously can't teach it to Snail, because I'm not going to be using him, because then it wouldn't be a monotype run. And it appears that Circle Cat cannot learn it, so uh, pretty useless for the moment, if I'm ever going to use it. So let's get out of here. Walk back over here to where we rock smash that other rock and gee, bus. Get out of here, Zubat. Nobody likes you. I'm sure somebody out there just loves Zubat, so I'm not going to say that. But here we are out of this cave now into the top half of this mountain of Route 204. Let's click on this guy. He's not going to battle us, uh, but he has pretty useless information, so that was great. I do believe we have to battle her to get that Pokeball, so let's just uh, wait for her to turn around and uh, see us. Let's have a battle while smelling the aroma of flowers. Well, aren't you just la di da, miss? Whoa, what's wrong with you? your sprite? Just looks really weird with all the stuff floating around you. That just looks pretty trippy. Anyway, she's gonna have a buddy. Another great matchup for our Circle Cat. He's gonna pop out like a beast, and we are just gonna hit it with an icy wind. I don't even know why we have Powder Snow anymore. And that Quick Claw is just so useful this episode. It is getting so much use. Let me go ahead and speed this up. It is getting tons of use. Uh, Cherubi, of course, we're going to stay in. That's a great matchup, once again. That's a Pokemon we haven't seen yet in this episode, and just as quickly, uh, in this LP rather, and just as quickly, it's gone. So, Aroma Lady Taylor is defeated, but apparently not angry because she is just so high off the aroma of flowers. Here we have an awakening, which is going to be pretty helpful going into a uh, forest full of bug types that like to use things like sleep and poison. Alright, another battle here. This one, I do believe, is a bug catcher. Say, listen, what's your opinion on bug Pokemon? Uh, they're easy to take out if you got the nice type. So early on, ice types really are helpful. But we're going to need some more help as we continue on, and that's what our other party members are going to do as I'm going to try to incorporate lots of Pokemon with, uh, you know, dual types and they can learn awesome moves so that we have a great chance of actually making it through this game alive. Krigaton's going to go for a bide. 
pretty useless considering we just take it out in one hit. So you being faster there did nothing. Obviously we're going to stand on this Whirlpool and go for that Icy one once again and that Quick Claw is so quick to the draw. I can't believe it. I wonder what the percentage is um, of it working because it's just been working so much this episode. There we go. We have a uh, double battle now. I'm not going to take them on just because uh, we only have one Pokemon technically and I don't really want to ruin that by sending out Snail. But here we have an item. It is a TM-09 Bullet Seed and I'm fairly confident that Circle Cat can't learn that so I'm just going to avoid it for now. And we have arrived in Flow Aroma Town, and that is where I'm going to end the episode off. So, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like and favorite the video and leave a comment below. And go check out my main channel, Shiny Enter Zack, my card channel, SHZ TCG, and my Pokemon community channel, Poke Capital. And until next time, I will see you guys later.